Good day, Plant Foldies. This is Richie at Grow Folds, and today is just a little short special video of plant mail unboxing. I haven't done this in quite a while, but I was able to get a really good deal for a variegated Syngonium agastatum. So um, a Syngonium agastatum has some really interesting leaves. Um, they're a little bit more narrow and spread out, but I've never seen a variegated um, Syngonium agastatum. So when I was able to find a seller by the name of Lauren's Leaves, I bought a uh, variegated alocasia from her in the past and she has some amazing plants. Um, I first learned about Lauren's Leaves by going to the Texas Aeroid um, Rare Show out in Dallas, Texas, just um, a couple months back. And unfortunately I was able to buy um, a plant while she was there, but then I follow her on Instagram and she does have plant purges and I happen to see some amazing Syngonium. So super excited. Lauren obviously takes very good care of just packaging the plants. As you can see, it is pretty cold out in North Dallas, but she was able to give me some two day express shipping and she did put some insulation around um, the package. So I love that. Um, I just love the fact that Lauren definitely cares about the plants and just even the care of the packaging. So um, whenever you look at like buying plants online, the one thing that will definitely give you a good experience is just the care of just the packaging in general. So, you know, if you see somebody putting in insulation for the plants, getting you some really good um, express shipping and then just even the packaging that's just awesome and as you can see i'm opening this up and you can see that there is a protective layer already there's some like um some some foam or some kind of um protection for the actual plant so we're just going to open this up and you can see that there is some sort of like foam cotton to protect it and then there is also a cylinder um, cardboard wrapping around the plant so there is definitely um, a very unlikelihood of this plant coming to me or being delivered um, not healthy or even damaged the first plant purchase i bought from lauren was phenomenal and perfect and you know alocasia are actually very challenging to send and there was no damage for the alocasia and my alocasia i bought from lauren is doing amazing it's under a grow light in some high humidity i still have to go ahead and repot it but we will do that later down the line but i am super excited because i can already see that there is foliage and this is actually a much larger plant than i anticipated um it is a good uh, i would say foot tall so i love that and i am struggling a little bit i'm just being very careful about um rushing into un uh, unboxing a plant um that's the thing if you ever get you know plants online and they get delivered to you the tendency is we want to just hurry up and unbox the plant let me tell you i have had situations where i unboxed it too fast and literally like cut a leaf or even just cut a whole stem so we're not doing that today you'll just have to hear me just ramble a little bit but oh my gosh look at this this is so awesome i'm so excited because i can see the variegation and what i love about the syngonium is it has like a very narrow form and it's not quite an arrowhead form i don't even know how to describe the leaves and obviously i will give you guys a detailed um look at the end but i'm just gonna slowly unpack this so it looks like lauren um propagated this plant in sphagnum moss and it's still in its original propagation um, i love that and i can tell that the roots are very well developed i can see underneath um, the sphagnum moss i do plan to repot this today i know normally when you get plants um, unboxed you want to give it a day to acclimate but as you can see this is perfect not it's like i just got this plant from her in person there is no damage the leaves are not droopy and it's just perfect and this is a reason why i would highly recommend you guys following lauren's leaves on instagram look at that variegation now i would say this is a pretty rare syngonium i don't see this um offered at all or i have never seen it and so when she had it offered i definitely had to jump on and buy it and she gave me such a good price for this Syngonium Agastatum. I know that for all the Syngonium lovers out there, you know that this is a plant you don't typically see. And so um, that's awesome. And now I'm gonna go ahead and repot it. So what I'm using is a um, 
planter that I bought from Target from Threshold. It's a six inch planter. I've already pre-mixed my, um, my soil mix. So basically I use, um, like a base soil. I go ahead and add like 50% perlite and another, um, some orchid bark. And also I use Lekka balls to really just get a chunky vibe you know, just a chunky mix to it. I'm going to go ahead and set the plant in here. So I am not going to show you the, um, the actual mix, but you've seen it in my past videos on that. I will also do a, you know, how to make chunky mix tutorial at some point. I do have just a little bit of systemic houseplant granules, um, just because I want to make sure that this plant, um, soaks up the pesticide, um, while it's still super healthy. Um, I just don't want to deal with like spider mites, mealybugs and all of that. And that is one thing I will say with Syngonium, they are susceptible to, but I am super excited. The leaves were, the, the roots were super healthy. I did get as much of the sphagnum moss as, um, off as possible. And when I actually checked the roots, I'm sorry, I didn't get that on camera. They were super white, super healthy. So I am very excited. And I know that this Syngonium will acclimate in my environment very well. I'm hoping to grow it and propagate from it to more to make this um, plant a little bit more full, but I am just really excited that I got that. So basically I'm going to go ahead and repot this. And then once I repot the plant, what I do next is I slap the pot to make sure that the, the soil actually settles with the roots. I used a chopstick to do that, but I kind of mixed it up. And now I am literally re, you know, watering the plant, soaking it up using super thrive, um, water with just a tad bit of liquid fertilizer, houseplant fertilizer, very mild, just so there's just a little bit of nitrogen to help, um, establish the roots and also some phosphorus, um, as well. But you want to go ahead and soak up the, the plant and make sure that all of the roots are soaked and all of the um the chunky soil mix settles within the um the roots so that's all i'm doing right now and then i'm going to let it drain for just a little bit and make sure that all of the water has soaked through the drainage holes i'm actually doing this out in my garage um really late this evening i happen to do a live premiere a super late one so i'm thankful for all the plant foldies that tuned in you know that i try to get um videos for you guys every evening now at least um once a day it was a little bit of a challenge to get two videos a day but we will see what i can do but as you can see i've watered the plant thoroughly i'm letting it drain just making sure it's drained 100 percent because you don't want water i'm slapping the pot just to make sure that some of the um the soil actually um, settles in with the roots and you can see how beautiful this syngonium is and um, that's basically it the next step after watering and you know putting the systemic granules in there completely is to use a spray that i use on all of my plants and i will show you what it is it is actually the um, We The Wild Protect um, Spray with Neem Oil. This is the best product I've ever seen. And basically, I spray all of my plants with this to add a level of protection. So what this um, neem oil does is it actually protects the plant by giving it um, pheromones that signify that the plant is healthy. So what happens with pests is when a plant is unhappy, whether it's underwater, overwatered, there's some root rot, or it's just not a healthy plant, it sends out a pheromone that invites pests like mealybugs, spider mites, gnats, all sorts of stuff there. But when you spray this neem oil, which is all organic, by the way, and you can buy We The Wild Protect um, spray online at their website. I also am following them on Instagram, so definitely check it out. It is a Houston-based small um, business, and I'll tell you, this is the best product ever. Um, it's leaf shines, it protects your, your plants. It's really good for um, plants that are very much spider mite prone. So I've used this for my Hedra Helix, but I definitely want to make sure that this plant has some good protection. And once I'm done um, spraying it, I'll let it settle for a little bit and you can see that it's actually shining the leaves, but this will give me confidence. So I spray underneath the leaves, all over the stems, on top of the leaves, and even the top part of the soil to make sure there are no pests available. And voila, this is the finished product right over here. As you can see, the leaves are so gorgeous. Um, and this is basically it. Super excited to get this Syngonium Agastatum. Really appreciate you guys watching me unbox and repot this really quick. So now you know the steps that I do, but look at the variegation of this plant. I know for all you Syngonium lovers, let me know what you think in the comments 
comments in the live um, chat premiere and you can see that there is already a growth point sh um, showing up here what i do plan to do is put this near a humidifier so just give it a little extra level of humidity um, put a grow light near it so we can make sure to encourage the variegation because i'm not sure how stable it is and that's basically it i will do some plant updates but hopefully you guys will see this syngonium grow this is part of my um rare syngonium collection super excited to get this and i will be doing another house plant tour at some point soon we will just see but as you can see very healthy plant thank you so much lauren for taking the time and giving me such a beautiful plant and um, I'm really hoping that I can grow this. Let me know what you guys think of the um, this plant unboxing video if you wanna see more on my channel. Um, this is Richie at Growfold, and I will be ending this video um, soon. Definitely check for updates, but as you can see, that is the process I do when I unbox videos that I get as plant mail. So be sure to follow Lauren's Leaves on Instagram, purchase from her. She has amazing plants. This is my second um, time buying from her, and I am 150% super satisfied with the plant I received. Um, very nice to you know support somebody local somebody that's based in texas and yes yeah, so, um, let me know what you guys think and i'll see you on the next video thank you